Now regarding symbols, we already inserted a couple of them. When you work according to the NFBA style ePlan project, then you have the following symbol libraries available to you. And these are over here. The graphics, pure graphical elements, which is not something we use very often in circuit diagrams, so you don't really need to worry about this one. Then we have the NFPA symbol library, which is absolutely the number one symbol library you are going to use. And then the same thing, but single line representation for your single line diagrams. And then the special, and over here you have PLC connections, network, interruption points and such things. Also for the PNI diagrams and it's located in the special symbol library. NFPA style symbol library. This is where it all happens. Multi-line circle diagrams these are placed in different categories over here. Starting from terminals, then coils and contacts, PLC, protection devices, and so on. You also have a list over here with the name, the number, and symbol description, and all the other fields. and the symbol library over here and symbol representation multi-line in this case let's go back to tree the nice thing about these symbol libraries is that you automatically for each and every element you have the description so for various protection devices for example for the fuses you have different variants and they are all one pole but first one just a general single pole fuse then fuse switch disconnector if you're not experienced with electrical design in general you're just starting out as an electrical design engineer electrical designer then this is going to be really helpful for you because fuse switch disconnector is also something this is defined in the in, in the standards in the NFPA in the in NEC or IEC standards this is really a description of a real component of a real device so you know if you need to incorporate a fuse switch disconnector inside your project you're gonna find it over here generally if you know that it's a fuse you would go under fuses and then you would locate the fuse switch disconnector and you know that this is the right representation of this kind of device so a senior design engineer tells you hey we need to incorporate those fuse switch disconnectors so you know you locate this one and you're sure that this is the right representation in your circuit diagram for that particular device so this is really helpful in this symbol library now let's compare this to the same symbol but single line representation once again protection devices and then safety fuse single and then this one so this is the single line representation of the same device. If you want to create single line diagrams inside ePlan, then you would insert devices, symbols, 
from this particular symbol library. We're gonna cover, of course, the symbols as we go through the course when we start to create our circle diagrams. Now another important thing regarding symbols and symbol libraries, you have the option to create your own custom symbols and symbol libraries. I do have a course that explains this, if you want to check it out. It's called ePlan Electric P8 Custom Symbols, Symbol Libraries, Tips and Tricks. In that particular course, I cover the creation of symbols, symbol libraries, the whole management of that topic. But on the other hand, I don't really. Just some of the students asked me to do it, so I created that course. But generally, it is not necessary to create custom symbols because everything you can do with a custom symbol you can also do with a black box which is something we're gonna cover of course later on the black box I'm speaking from my professional experience we never use custom symbol libraries custom symbols on our projects this is really rare and I wouldn't recommend it because one example, you create your custom symbol library on your computer inside your ePlan project and then you forget to include that one or to forget to copy that symbol library when you send your project to another team member and then you have problems. So altogether, everything you can do with custom symbols you can also do with a black box. I'm going to show you that later on in the course. If you still want to do it, then you will go to utilities and master data, symbol library, this is where you manage your symbol libraries and regarding symbols, this is where you would create, copy, delete and make new variants, import, export, everything else regarding symbols. As I said, you can check that course where I really show you that, but it's not really necessary. That's it regarding symbol symbol libraries. In the next video, I'm gonna show you different page types used typically on ePlan projects. So that you also see why do we even have different page types.